Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifiba Osnana Sheffield. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to talk about, um, or I'm going to give you guys um, wedding buffet ideas, especially if you're in Ghana. So then a typical um, Ghanaian reception, your choice of meals for your buffet. So I'm going to talk about generally how an ideal a wedding reception buffet should be and then we would do a bit of examples okay based on say high budget uh, low budget medium budget all those things okay so um every buffet or a, for an ideal wedding reception you should have a starter the main meal and then dessert um with the typical Ghanaian uh, reception I think they normally skip the starter and then they give you or they serve you with drinks during that time so it's like the drinks are starters in Ghana so then you can decide to do that so normally they give them the drinks then um, after the whole dances of the couple and all those things then um, we go and eat which is the main meal but then if you want to have the ideal one, you have a good starter, a main meal, and then dessert, okay? And so, um, for starters, you can decide to serve uh, bread and soups. So I'm going to mention the generals, then I will list examples, okay, of some of the great meals that I think you can add to your wedding buffet. So for starters, you can decide to serve uh, bread or soups or salads. And then for main meals, there is the option of rice foods, local foods. Um, I call it goodness. So then I'll break down the goodness to you. But then that is that category. I call it goodness. It's like all the goodness is the key. Yes. And then salads, uh, proteins, sauces and soups that's for the main meal and then for desserts you can decide to serve fruits pastries ice creams and then i call something extras so then that one too i'll break it down for you guys but then i didn't add drinks into any of these because if you are obviously um celebrating having a party or wedding or something a drink drink should be added okay so normally drinks are served that's i'm like with Ghanaian sets or the our Ghanaian community drinks are sort of the starters okay i'm sorry i'm moving i'm sitting on the floor so then drinks are like starters but then if you are choosing or you are doing starters which is the bread soups or salads you can decide to bring the drinks the a bit after the starters okay like between the starter and then the the main meal or maybe with the main meal or something like that okay so then we are moving on to starters okay so starters i said that you can serve bread soups or salads so with the bread please don't go and buy tea bread and serve it at your wedding reception <laughs> no don't do that <laughs> no because don't say that i said bread no you can decide to get garlic bread it's very popular it is delicious it goes very well with ghost life soup by the way it's my favorite um starter and then uh, there's bread rolls which is also very common so then um, bread rolls garlic bread and then french bread um soups that is for the starters you can decide to have goat light soup dried fish light soup potato soup i tried it recently it was fine it was really delicious and then mushroom soup or mushroom soup yes and then salads i will break down the salads at the main dishes but then those are the normal Ghanaian style dishes potato salad all those things yeah you can add it to your starters and then now main dishes so with the main dishes we have rice foods we have jollof the most popular meal everybody knows jollof 
and then fried rice and then vermicelli rice and then rice with green peas and then rice with sweet corn and then curry rice and coconut rice now for the sake of the fact that it's a wedding reception or it's a unique you know day birthday party anniversary uh, whatever please don't serve plain rice like some people serve jollof fried rice then plain rice take the plain rice if it's me honestly take the plain rice out then serve a rice with peas or rice with sweet corn so then those ones is just sweet corn um, with cooked rice okay mixed and then the peas too is peas instead of sweet corn and it, it has some color and garnish to the plain rice so it doesn't really make it plain okay so instead of just boiling plain rice and adding it choose either uh, rice with green peas or rice with sweet corn okay and then or curry rice okay or coconut rice these are like cooked rice but then it's like they, they have been garnished okay or mixed with something else to make it look attractive so these are the rice foods let me repeat it again jollof fried rice vermicelli rice uh, rice with green peas rice with sweet corn curry rice and coconut rice they are very good rice options for your buffet and then locals so then banku and tilapia or oko red red fufu and soup uh wache acheke tuzafi and then kinky and fish or any other locals that i didn't um add to my list okay and then goodness so that i call it goodness because like it's one of the things that actually make me excited when i go to a buffet okay it's like it's one of those chemishes that way adds the normal rice things is nice okay so then there's kili willy there's yam balls there is roasted potatoes or sauteed potatoes or cubed uh cooked potatoes um that is the, pot the, the, the potato family like either sauteed cooked or roasted but then please don't add fried potatoes to your buffet for an event you can't decide to add it, but then fried potatoes is it's enjoyed or it's nicer when it's hot and uh, is it crispy and then straight from the fire you get it. But but we all know that with the wedding reception, they don't just cook it there and give it to you. So by the time even the groom, the bride and the groom comes inside, the food is ready. They have already fried it. By the time your guests go, it's wet and then it's cold. I don't know some way. So instead, if you want potato to be part of your um buffet you can decide to take uh roasted potatoes cubed as in cut in cubes uh cooked or sauteed or if you want to be extra you can decide to add mashed potato i love mashed potatoes if i'm coming to an event and you have mashed potatoes like you're my favorite person in the world yes and then vegetables pack and then stir fried spark sorry spaghetti that's that's what i said spark yes vegetable spaghetti or stir fried spaghetti so those are in the category of goodness. I call it goodness anyway. And then salads. So then we have steamed vegetables. We have Ghanaian style salad. That's what almost all of us know how to do. And then coleslaw or uh, chicken or tuna salad, um, sauteed vegetables. Um, yeah, those are the kinds of, should I say salads that you can serve as part of your main meal. And then protein so you can have grilled chicken beef lamb uh, fish anything at all you can decide to have the fried version or grilled version of it um, or cooked in stewed as in stewed proteins okay like cooked with stew around it that too is fine and then sauces so then please don't forget shuttle gravy red pepper and green pepper don't forget it at your events it's not only when you're seven uh banquet and slap that you need those combinations bring all the colorful peppers out on the table during your receptions or parties and then shredded beef sauce or chicken sauce or beef curry sauce or chicken curry sauce 
that one so you can add it to your meal so then we are done with the main dishes so dessert so dessert you can decide to serve fruits that is just cut fruits okay and then fruit salad now fruit salad is different from just fruits fruits is where they've cut different or varieties of fruits okay and then they've put it they've not mixed it up so then it's separated but then um fruit salad is when they have cut fruits and then mixed it in a in a in, in one container or one bowl do you get it so you can decide to serve just fruits or fruit salad it's not the same because when you're saying that with fruit salad the the liquid from all the fruits will be mixed so the taste is different from just eating like just pineapple or just um but then it's advisable that you serve just fruits because not everybody likes a particular type of fruit you can decide to do half of it or um, plain fruits and you can decide to also do some fruits uh, salad any any of it goes and then pastries so you can decide to serve uh, small small types of cakes um spring rolls all those things during your event and then ice cream make sure your ice cream doesn't melt it comes out at the right time and then the extras so the extras are the puddings the locals in kati cake um how how, how do we this thing um kube toffee condensed milk toffee all those things sometimes it's nice when you add it it, it gives a, a variety you know options for your guests to eat and it's it's actually nice okay so then i have mentioned all the options that you guys can have for your wedding now we are going to make combinations okay so then now one thing that i would want everybody to know for an ideal I'm starting from the highest okay so then for an ideal wedding reception with all your churches intact okay so then first you should know that you have to add a bit of everything so then you need to have a starter okay and the starter give it a variety I'm giving it the ideal please before you if you want to remove some you remove some from it so the ideal status if not anything you should have two different kinds of soups okay um as your starter okay so then you can have since now we have two sort of classes of people there are people who don't like meat there are people who like uh fish okay and then there are people who don't like any of the two they just like the other as a mushroom or something so then ideally you can have two soups for your starters so you can decide to have goat life soup honestly if you want to do soup for goat for starter don't forget goat life soup okay so you can decide to add goat life soup and then dried fish life soup as your starter or mushroom soup and then goats um like normally those who eat fish would love mushrooms as well so you can decide to do your goat slice soup or lamb soup or something and then um, mushroom soup or um fresh fish um, it's a fresh fish sorry dried fish um soup light soup okay do not do goat soup and then chicken soup as that is it's it's all meat so it's like the varieties are not you know so much so if you have people who don't like meat then they are left out of your starter so you, you should put that's i'm like you should find a way, way of putting all categories okay like their meals there so then you choose one which is gold live soup and then other one you choose dried fish live soup or um mushroom soup or potato soup or something like that okay so then that one then your bread your bread is just ideal that you take at least two forms of bread okay so you can decide to add uh, bread rolls and then uh, garlic bread so the two forms of bread there or french bread okay um yeah so two out of the three if you want to bring all the three that i have mentioned or any other types of bread but then i'm just talking about one that would mean like it's ideal okay so then you can have two 
forms of bread which is you can decide to select from the ones that i have mentioned and then um two of the soups as well for starters then you can decide to put just one salad okay by the side so then your um starter is set okay there's some variety it's fine then we go to the main meal so then with your main meal make sure that you include all of what i have listed in your buffet which is rice foods locals goodness salads proteins sauces and soups now the soups is um there's an asterisk okay on the soups so then if you serve um soups for your starter okay if you serve soups for your starter and then maybe you don't serve fufu or a motto or something during the reception then you don't need to add soup okay to it at all but then if you are serving um fufu and goats like soup or something then that one you can add soup to your meal okay so then with the rice foods it's just ideal to choose like three of the rice foods okay so then you can decide you know jollof and fried rice is like a conch thing and sometimes i feel like you know moving outside or away from the ordinary is not so bad so then you you can decide to select jollof fried rice or vermicelli rice or rice with green peas or sweet corn or coconut rice or curry rice so you can choose three of the rice sorry three of the rice foods okay then you go to your locals now if you are choosing locals please watch the kind of people that are coming so then for wedding reception for example say i am an enzema okay and maybe my husband is <laughs> my husband is an a gun <laughs> okay my husband is a gun so then we are doing our wedding reception so then i know that oh you know the way Ghanaians are you can't do marriage that your father's family members like there is about people won't come or the guns won't come okay so then we have to put a local food that both families can relate to so then here in my in, in my situation i would serve a cheke and then i would serve gakinki or i don't know um which other meal that maybe girls like but then it's like you put something like one of their locals that they would really appreciate okay there so then after you you choose your three rice meals you add your locals so then for the locals okay first select two first select two of 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 a local two of the local dishes that both families can enjoy so in my the example i gave you which is enzema and gun family marian um we'll select a cheke and then kinky and fish okay then we add one local an extra local dish okay that's we know that usually people would like so then normally fufu people would would eat but then hardly do people go to um, weddings to eat fufu mainly because or oh, maybe they shattered and you know all those things uh-huh yeah so then it's it's just ideal okay that you pick banku and tilapia or okro okro it's safer to choose tilapia because i like i i i can't eat okro soup outside i can't know it's like if i have to eat i would if it's nice i would but then if there are other options i wouldn't take okro i'll take tilapia okay so it's just safe that you take uh banku and tilapia before someone goes to run and say that your wedding they came to eat okra that they were running <laughs> easy so then aside the two locals you choose another local so then there's banku and tilapia there is red red there is fufu there is wache wache you can add it to the rice foods i just added this to the local because it's not chiches okay so then instead you can just choose jollof fried rice wache but 
I'm not so much of a wachi person, so I wouldn't waste my rice options on wachi, okay? And then, yes, wasafi and those things. So right now, you have three rice meals and then three locales, okay? Three rice meals and then three locales. That is, I'm mentioning the ideals, please. I'm mentioning the ideals. If you think the food is too much for you, you will come down, you reduce it yourself. Yeah. And then you go to your goodness. So the goodness is kelly really yam balls, um, roasted potato or sauteed potato, vegetables, packs, stir fried rice. That one you can add like two out of it, you know, like kelly really. You can decide to add kelly willy to it and then uh, roasted potatoes or sauteed potatoes to it then you select two out of your yam balls okay instead of maybe kelly willy you save yam balls and then maybe potatoes as well so then now you have three from rice foods three from locals and then uh two from uh, goodness so that gives you eight dishes now from the goodness if you have to take kili wili, kili wili is not really a main dish. So then if you take maybe the roasted potatoes, they are all sides. So then like the main dish is six. I don't know if you are getting me. So like your main dishes that you are serving that day is six. And then you add the kili wili and the sauteed potatoes or add it. So like you take rice small, you add potatoes small, you, you know take all the extra small sparks small you know and add it to it and then the salads so the salads serve like three varieties of salads i have mentioned them so you just take any three out of it and then the sauces now since you have seven rice dishes okay the sauces is compulsory please don't go and serve vermicelli rice or rice with green peas and just put um gravy they no then some grilled chicken no no please serve some sauce if you are serving vermicelli rice or green peas add some you know shredded beef sauce or chicken sauce something like some sauces don't, don't just serve gravy then do that the way you see the way they take it gravy one spoon put it on the rice they don't even put it on the side they put it on the rice they'll put chicken <laughs> no please i beg i beg you invest invest in your reception foods then you choose your salads and then your proteins so then the proteins because if someone is eating jollof they need to eat proteins okay someone can take jollof and then the beef sauce but then would want to add maybe grilled fish or something to it okay then yeah then you add your sauces to and the protein so sauces you can decide to take like two sauces and then the proteins too, you can decide to add like two proteins which is because already if you are serving like um aha if you are serving like banku those of you who say that oh i will be the banku neighboring at tilapia i mean tilapia is fish don't restrict and tilapia is a very nice fish okay don't restrict that if you want to eat banku before you eat tilapia if you feel like tilapia is expensive okay make the tilapia plenty and add it and make it one of your proteins i don't know if you get what i mean so then that tilapia will be one of your proteins chicken will be one of your proteins i don't know if you get me so if the person doesn't like chicken then the person wants fish the person goes in for tilapia there would be no other fish available i don't know if you get me yes because some people so it's just nice sometimes when you eat jollof and tilapia when you go there they're like because they're not eating banku they won't give you tilapia well cool but then if that is if you are maybe hard on cash or something but then if you can have it that's what i'm saying that right now i am describing the ideal the options I'm giving you as in take three, take four, take five. All those people are those that money is not a problem. And then dessert. So in dessert, aside the wedding cake or the anniversary cake or the birthday party cake, 
serve dessert. I beg you. Serve dessert. Dessert doesn't need to be expensive. That's what I'm saying. You can just serve fruits or pastries. So you can decide to have fruits and pastries to dessert. So those who want fruits will take it. Those who want dessert will take it. Then they add the wedding cake pieces that they cut for everybody to it. Or there will be ice cream. But then you see nowadays people are really um going in for healthy options so don't go and put pastries and ice cream there as your dessert okay add something healthy so that those who want the healthy option to would be satisfied otherwise you have people coming for your event and then one person is saying my dibana minya shindi because it was maybe fatty foods and all those things but some of them there was food you should be able to satisfy everybody that is coming. So that everybody will say, Oh, it is no, fine. Minya banku di. Minya emuti. Minya jollof di. Minya salad. Minya fruits. Minya pastries. Minya ice cream. So you can add, and it's we are mixing things. Okay? You don't need to make everything plenty. So you can just take a bit of fruits. A bit of pastry a bit of ice cream and then if you want puddings and all those things to you add so it's like bits of everything and there are options there i don't know if you get me like it, it beautifies your food area <laughs> you know and it gives people options as well yes so then that is it if you are on a low budget as i said i have listed all the possible options of the categories okay I've, I've given it to you guys so then if you um um on a tight budget you don't need to do all the plenty like maybe do three rice meals three locals or something you can decide to do maybe two rice meals or something but it's just nice like some people would just have just rice meals during their weather reception hmm some locals locals are not so expensive you know add some locals to it okay like add some spice to your wedding reception plain rice no yeah but i don't know you should stop serving plain rice and um, yeah so then that is it i hope um this can guide some of us me for example my age mates are really marrying so then I hope it can guide some of us to choose meals for our wedding receptions and birthday parties and everything. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.